Welcome, boys and girls. Welcome back to Wednesday Wisdom. Yes, this is Wednesday Wisdom in which we take a negative God's word just to apply to our daily Christian walk. Boys and girls, I pray that you had a good Labor Day um, day off of school. Some of you had two days off. Well, I pray that you enjoyed those days and that you are back on track. Amen? Amen. Boys and girls, I pray that you strive each day not only to learn and to do your lessons, but also, boys and girls, to lead by example to lead by example, letting your light shine that people may see your good deeds and glorify God in heaven. That is your responsibility. That is our responsibility in this dark world in which we're living in to be a light, to be hope for all of those who are lost. Amen. Amen. So I pray that that is one of the goals and purposes of you when you're walking and the words that you say, you be watchful for those words. The, um, behavior and what you act that you be watchful in your behavior and even your thoughts boys and girls be careful as to what you think because your thoughts actually bring create seed that is planted into your heart that eventually will produce something so make sure your thoughts are pure make sure that they are holy make sure that they are righteous so that they are those seeds are planted into your heart so that you do the right things amen amen boys and girls we're going to pray and then be on our way let us pray Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for just um, bringing us together to study another portion of your word. Bless this time that we have together. Bless these children, dear Lord. Open up their hearts and their minds to receive your word, dear Lord. And may something be said that will encourage them, motivate and inspire them to be a light in the dark world in which we are living. There is just so much out there in the world that is drawing our young ones away, Lord. And I pray that Tom. Um, our children who have professed their faith in Jesus Christ will represent, will stand up and stand out so that others can see an example as to the way in which we should walk in this world in which we're living. Lord, thank you. We love you. Bless your word. May it be a seed planted into the hearts and minds of these children that produces roots and bear much fruit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So, boys and girls, we're going to pause for a moment and then go right into the word. Amen? Amen. Okay, boys and girls, now we get ready to go into the word for today. The title of today's message is, who are you going to call? Who are you going to call, boys and girls? Who are you going to call when things are not going well, when things are, are going topsy-turvy, when you find yourself not doing what you used to do and find yourself in a whole lot of trouble? Who are you going to call? That's what we're going to talk about today, boys and girls, because there's a little nugget of wisdom as to who you should call. And I see you, you probably noticed the answer is already on the screen. We call upon Jesus. Yes, we call upon Jesus. In other words, boys and girls, who are you going to call when you find yourself slipping back into those bad habits and behaviors that you buried a long time ago? In other words, boys and girls, you had turned to be a kind person and you had turned to be a, um, a selfless person. You weren't so selfish anymore. You shared a lot. But now, boys and girls, you find yourself bullying. You find yourself taking things. You find yourself fighting and all of those things, boys and girls. You sense yourself getting in a lot of trouble. You find yourself in the school principal's office more times than not. You find yourself being grounded at home more times than not. At, and the, and, and if things are just turning for the worse. Who are you going to call? Boys and girls, here's what the, here's the, what the psalmist says in Psalm 94 and 18. I said, my foot is slipping, but Lord, your faithful love kept me from falling. In other words, boys and girls, you call upon the name of the Lord. When you find your foot slipping, when you find yourself slipping back to those bad behaviors, ways, attitudes, and, um, and behaviors that you used to do that caused a whole lot of trouble in your life, that caused you not to be a light in this dark world that we are living in, but you are part of the problem instead of a part of the solution. And now you are beginning to be a part of the problem again. Recognize, boys and girls, when you sense yourself slipping, call upon the name of the Lord. And here's what the Lord would do. Because of his faithful love for each one of us, he will keep you from falling, boys and girls. He will not allow you to fall back into those traps that you used to fall into, that you used to do. He will, he will lead you and guide you through his Holy Spirit. All you have to do is listen, and he will tell you, this is the way. Walk in it. He will. Um, he said that absolutely nothing will stop him from loving you and caring for you, caring for you and wanting the best for you. So who are you going to call? Call upon the name of the Lord, boys and girls. 
when you sense yourself slipping and getting into trouble more times than not. And he will help you and straighten you out so that you can get back on track and be a blessed light at home, at school, and even in the community. Amen? Amen. So who are we going to call, boys and girls? When, we, when our foot is slipping, we call upon the name of the Lord. Amen? Amen. There's another one, boys and girls. Who are you going to call when your cares and worries keep you up all night and cause you to fear to even face the next day? Oh, my goodness. You just don't, you don't want to go to sleep because you're worried, but you want to get some sleep because you know you'll be tired the next day. But then you know also on the next day when you wake up, you're fearful of what's going to happen because of the things that are happening as you get ready to go to bed. Oh, my goodness. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. So you're tossing and turning and all of those things. Who, would, who do you call, boys and girls, that will calm your nerves? You call upon the name of the Lord. Call on Jesus. Here's what the psalmist says in Psalm 94 and 19. It says, I was very worried, but your comfort brought me joy. In other words, boys and girls, that is what Jesus does. He brings us joy, even in the midst of our, our cares and our, our concerns and our worries. He takes our worries from us. He gives us comfort, and that comfort turns into joy. Boys and girls, that is what Jesus wants for each one of us. He wants to be involved in every aspect of our lives. He doesn't want us to be anxious and to worry about anything. He wants us to call upon his most holy name. And he says, I will even give you peace that transcends all understanding. In other words, I will make you calm, cool, and collective in whatever the situation you're in so that you will have a peaceful and restful night. And when you get up in the morning, you won't have to worry about what's going to happen because he has it all under control. Amen? Amen. So boys and girls, back to the line. The title of the message, who are you going to call? Who are you going to call? Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon Jesus, boys and girls. Your friends may be able to do something, but your friends are not going to do what Jesus can do. Your friends are not going to be able to show, um, share uh, or show that love, share that love, the type of love that Jesus has for you. Nor will your friends be able to give you the type of comfort that Jesus will give you. No, boys and girls, it's only Jesus who can actually catch you before you fall. And it's only Jesus that can give you an unspeakable joy and comfort, even in the midst of your worries. Amen? Amen. So who are you going to call? Call upon Jesus. He wants to be involved in your life. Amen? Amen. Boys and girls, that's the nugget for today. Who are you going to call when the going gets tough? Call upon Jesus. Amen? Amen. God bless you.